Hello class, Professor Anderson here. Uh, let's take a look at a problem of your heart pumping blood. And let's see if we can figure out how far the blood moves during one beat of your heart. Okay, so if we plot a typical velocity versus time curve for one beat of your heart, what does the blood look like? It looks like this, it's not moving and then it shoots up to a positive velocity, and then it decays back down to a negative velocity, or a zero velocity, and this happens pretty quickly. This is about 0 0.2 seconds to about 0 0.4 seconds, and the maximum speed that you reach is about 0.75 meters per second. Okay, and now let's ask the following question, what is delta x for a beat? Okay, when your heart pumps blood and it pushes it, how far does that blood move in one single beat? Okay, so this is sort of a simplification of what's really happening, but that's okay. We can approximate it with that. Let's think about kinematics, right? What does motion look like, x, as a function of velocity? Well, one thing that we know is distance x is just equal to rate times time. And if I have areas of constant acceleration where v is increasing linearly, then I can just say exactly that, x equals v bar times t. And in fact, we have two regions to worry about. We have this first part on the way up, we have the second part on the way down. So if we label those two parts, t1 and t2, what can we say? Well, v bar is the same for both of those sections. It's about halfway up there, halfway there. And so we can lump these together and say that v bar is going to multiply t1 plus t2. t1 plus t2 is just how much total time has elapsed. And so in this case, we have v bar times delta t. All right? And now we know all those numbers. v bar is 0 0.75 meters per second over 2. What's delta t? It is 0.4 seconds minus 0.2 seconds. Okay, and if you run all those numbers, you should get in centimeters 7.5 centimeters. Okay, now the second part of this question says how many beats does it take for the blood to get to your brain. Okay, so from your heart to your brain, how many beats does it take? Well, it's 7.5 centimeters per beat, and if we know the distance from your heart to your brain, which is, you know, about here, right? It's 30 centimeters or so. Then we can calculate how many beats it takes because the number of beats is just 30 centimeters divided by how far it moves per beat. 30 over 7.5 is 4. So 4 beats of your heart, blood moves from your heart to your brain. All right, hopefully the blood has moved to your brain and this is all clear to you now. If not, come see me in office hours. Cheers.